Okay, so here we are, and uh, two years later after our honeymoon, and we have the newest mission coming with us on our world adventure. This is actually been pretty good so far. He's having his babas right now. We're on uh, a &A Airlines, which is awesome customer service. They're very courteous. They walk you to your seat, put your luggage up in the in the bin, and we actually have uh, this front row here. For, uh, we have plenty of space for the bassinet that they're going to uh, give us once we actually take off. But um, so far, it's been a, a pretty rough go at it, considering that it took us about two hours to get through security at LAX with uh, Expedia not spelling Laszlo's name correctly. But nonetheless, we made our flight, so we're happy and uh, can't wait to get to Japan. So, signing off for now and more videos to, to show here shortly. Laszlo is looking out the window, which is pretty cool because he's really having a lot of fun with it. So, we have 12 hours to Tokyo where it will be sashi, sashimi time, and Sapporo time, and sake and tumi time. So, we're pretty excited. I'm going to try to get some sleep here. Hopefully, lots of sleep so we can get the play play. So, see you guys soon. This is my wife Jennifer and this is our baby Laszlo who is nine months old and we this is his first trip internationally and he was pretty good um, we did have some confusion at the airport but nonetheless we made it and uh, got a good night's rest so hey. 11 hours flight we made it with the baby he got a little bassinet on the plane which he didn't like to sleep in he slept maybe three hours out of the 11 hours on the plane pretty good so we made it here to Tokyo yesterday we were really jet lagged like we didn't I only slept about an hour on the flight I think you only slept an hour on the flight by the time we landed we had been up for like 24 hours this guy's the only one who ever gets any yeah, sleep we wanted truth, to just so. eat and cry hey no yeah no say hi okay so anyway, here is our room in Tokyo. We are staying at the Century Southern, and uh, it's a beautiful hotel. It actually um, actually has this unbelievable lobby where it has a view of all of Tokyo. It's right near Shinjuku Station, which um, if you for all you travelers out there, it's super convenient once you get off of the train. Um, it's about not even a five minute walk and really in the central area of a lot of um, restaurants and things going on so so today we're gonna go to meet with some family that I didn't know I had here I just realized or I found out that I have cousins here um, like a week ago and it is my dad's mom <coughs> wait so my dad's mom's sister's daughter's daughter so I guess that means we're distant cousins, second or third cousins. So we're going to meet with them today for lunch. But before that, we're going to check out the Tsukiji Market. All right. So signing out, we're on our way to the market to eat an awesome food. <laughs>
Do you like it? Was worth a million words. So that's actually really good news because they said that the Japanese population is shrinking, but it seems that there's plenty of Japanese people out here. 10 million of them to be precise in Tokyo, according to Kenji, Jen's, it's actually uh, Laszlo's third cousin, we figured out. Uh, he's 22 years old and Jen's second cousin's son. So we're going back to our hotel. Laszlo's been wiped out, and uh, we're gonna try to find some sort of ramen place. Here, I'm gonna show you how many people are here. This is crazy. Here, show them the crossing right now. 